This monster has struck fear in the hearts of thousands. It is everywhere. You can't escape. Nobody knows how many there are. It can affect you and everyone around you. What is this monster? None other than the dreaded Mold Monster. Welcome to Defeating the Mold Monster. Click the Continue button when you are ready to begin. Click on the Attachment menu in the upper right corner of your screen to download the attached workbook for this course. At the end of this course, you will be tested on the material and must score 70% or above to pass. This course is for educational purposes only. Please consult with your own company supervisors and legal counsel with regard to your policies, procedures, and conduct in the workplace. At the bottom of your screen, you will see some player controls. If you need to pause the course to take notes or for any other reason, click the pause button. To go back and watch a previous slide again, click the back button. Click continue when you are ready. In this session, we will give you tools to address the mold monster. You will learn what mold is and who is affected by it, mold prevention tips, mold remediation processes, mold risk management procedures, emerging trends. What is mold? Mold is a group of organisms that belong to the kingdom fungi. Mold is a part of the natural environment and is found indoors and outdoors. Mold spores float through the air. When the spores land on wet or moist surfaces, under optimum conditions, they can begin to grow and may spread within 24 hours. Even indoors, it is impossible to get rid of all mold and mold spores. Mold's ideal growing conditions are at a temperature of between 77 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit with 70 to 93% relative humidity. Mold spores can even survive in harsh conditions that do not support normal mold growth. Mold gradually destroys the things it grows on. Whom does mold affect? Certain individuals are sensitive to molds. For these individuals, exposure to molds can cause symptoms such as nasal stuffiness, eye irritation, wheezing, or skin irritation. It is believed that as much as 10% of the population may have an allergic reaction to mold. Severity varies, and some individuals may have extremely severe reactions. Although mold allergies may affect anyone, the following have been reported to be at higher risk in developing health complications from exposure. Infants and children, elderly people, pregnant women, individuals with respiratory conditions, allergies, or asthma, individuals with compromised immune systems. The impact of mold is controversial. One study attributed nearly 100% of chronic sinus infections to mold and determined that the 300% increase in the asthma rate over the past 20 years can be linked to molds. Thousands of lawsuits claiming illness due to mold have been filed. However, a committee under the sponsorship of CDC found that there was little scientific evidence to support that mold inhalation causes the health conditions attributed to it. In a medical review of 50 cases that ended up in court, researchers found that in every case, other medical causes could be identified to explain the illnesses believed to be caused by the condition that was being attributed to toxic mold syndrome. Some recent studies conclude that most mold and mildew is not harmful to person and only slightly harmful to property. More research may be needed to understand the extent of the link between mold and the symptoms associated with it, but there is little argument that exposure to indoor molds can worsen asthma and allergy symptoms in people who are susceptible, and there is no question that landlords should take the risk seriously. Every management company and owner should have a formal process in place to respond to and remediate all mold cases. Let's check in and see what is going on at Park Plaza Apartments, our fictional apartment community. It is early January and very cold outside. Susie, a resident in Building 700 on the first floor, woke up this morning to the sound of water coming through her ceiling in the living room. She immediately got up and came into the office to report the incident. Morning, Susie. How can I help you today? 
I have water coming in through my ceiling and it's going everywhere. I tried knocking on the apartment upstairs, but nobody's at home. I think maybe a pipe has burst. Okay, well, let me get the keys to that apartment and I'll give uh, Sam, our maintenance supervisor, a call and I'll have her meet us over at that apartment right away. Okay. <laughs>